With so many drawing apps on the App Store to use with your iPad, which one should you choose? Which are the best for you and what you do personally? I'm Will Patterson, I'm a graphic designer and owner of a design agency in the north of England and this video I'm going to show you the best drawing apps I found on the iPad for creative professionals in 2022. The first one is Procreate. Procreate was my first ever drawing app that I've ever used on the iPad and is still to this day the most feature rich of all other apps I use. As a hand lettering artist, having the ability to focus on my lettering rather than how to find the opacity button is quite important. Procreate allows me to fully focus on my work while still having the fully functional UI to change settings and brushes. Procreate was one of the first drawing apps that allowed me to create custom brushes to use, share and sell. Creating brushes is easy and has been updated to allow you to really get into the nitty gritty of Procreate and brush nuance. Procreate isn't just good for its drawing capabilities. It's amazing for animation and painting painting in 3D. That's right, you can actually import 3D objects and paint on them, which is pretty incredible. The second one is Illustrator on iPad. When Adobe released Illustrator on the iPad, I and many other creative professionals were super stoked. As a brand identity designer, I spent a lot of time working on Adobe Illustrator on my computer, so having the ability to work on Illustrator documents on my iPad is amazing. However, I must admit that as a graphic designer, I don't use Illustrator on my iPad on a daily basis. I feel like a lot of my work is very intricate, so I prefer to work on my MacBook for a desktop experience, but that doesn't change the way I, ha I feel about having Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. Illustrator on the iPad doesn't have all the features I need within the iPad app yet. Although this shouldn't be too much of a problem for most illustrators, as now you have the ability to use the Apple Pencil to draw with the app. Gone are the days where you have to use and purchase a Wacom Cintiq to draw directly into Illustrator. Although Adobe Illustrator is Great to draw on the iPad, it does require a monthly subscription to use, which can get quite expensive depending on the amount of apps you use regularly from the Adobe suite. The next app is Apple Notes. Apple Notes is an app you probably thought I wouldn't mention in this video. I mean, it's just a basic notes app. Well, you're wrong. Apple Notes is actually far from basic. It has a ruler with different colored pens and pencils you can use. Yes, it doesn't have any of the changing of the brushes when you're drawing or writing. And yes, it's basic basically designed for quick sketches, but the ability to quickly sketch an idea by just tapping the Apple Pencil on the lock screen, you're able to get those ideas down quickly without having the faff of opening and creating a canvas size and all that other stuff you need to do on normal iPad apps. It's also free and because it's an Apple app, the sketches you make are saved across other Apple devices you use. Now, if you're a creative professional like myself, then you'll be no stranger to spending far too much time finding fonts to download with the correct license finding amazing textures and draw dropping logo reveal animation templates to show off your latest logo design concept to your client. Well, to save you a lot of time and money, Invalto Elements is here to help. They have over 55 million assets from animation templates, fonts, WordPress themes, and photos, all available to download without having to worry about the licensing for less than $20 per month. So click in the description to get your seven day free trial today and shout out to Invalto Elements for sponsoring today's video. The next app is Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco was an app made to be a competitor to Procreate and Adobe has definitely not disappointed us. Fresco is an app for illustrators and it does have a few features that no other app has, which is why Fresco has made it into today's video. The first feature is vector drawing. Vector drawing is different from bitmap drawing because you can get sharper lines and vector drawings are infinitely scalable, whereas bitmap drawing softwares like Procreate can't achieve this level Level of scalability. Fresco allows you to have both normal bitmap layers and vector layers, so you can work seamlessly with Photoshop and Illustrator on the desktop and the iPad apps. For the most part, Fresco does nearly everything Procreate can do. However, Fresco does have something up its sleeve for those who need more precision in their work. Fresco has a bunch of drawing guides you can use like a square, rectangle, a line, and a circle. Those guides are a godsend for logo designers. This allows us to draw geometrically and trace our work more efficiently before bringing it into Illustrator to vectorize. Honestly, you need to try it. Another great feature is live paint. Live painting is the most realistic painting experience I've found on the iPad. Essentially, it allows you to use traditional painting methods in a digital environment. 
This is great for abstract art or even making sure your illustrations don't look digital. The next app is Vectinator. If you're looking for an app that has a lot of the abilities and functionality of other paid apps, then Vectinator is for you. I've been using Vectinator a lot for logo design and vectorizing mainly my hand lettering, something that it really excels at doing. Vectinator is a free vector design app that rivals a lot of the paid alternatives, but don't let that put you off. There are very few compromises to be made when using Vectinator, other than some of the features that they actually have. Vectinator is slightly lacking in some of its features, but they are constantly updating the app to make it better and better. And what's not to like, it's completely free. In fact, I've got videos about Vectinator on this channel, so go ahead and at the end, click the link to check out the video. Now last, but by no means least, is the last app, obviously, Affinity Designer. This app is amazing for all things design and has amazing workflows for different kinds of projects you work on. In fact, Affinity Designer has to be the most versatile app you could ever use as a graphic a designer or creative professional. Think of Affinity Designer as Photoshop, Illustrator, and Adobe XD all in one. You can literally do it all. From designing vector logos to adding that logo to a mockup, to designing a UI for that logo system, you can do everything. What I love about Affinity Designer is the way that they've been able to push the boat out and innovate to make different personas to whatever kind of work you're doing. I haven't used Affinity Designer all too much, I must admit, for my work as I'm solidly into my own process within the Adobe suite. However, if you don't like subscriptions and don't mind forking out a one-time payment of less than $50, then this app is the can-do-it-all app for you. Obviously, there are plenty more apps out there that I haven't mentioned, but these are the apps I find to be the best. But if you feel like I've missed something out, then feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know. If you like this video, then subscribe and check out this video over here where I basically critique all your logos in a series on Reddit.